Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases for Forge World and Games Workshop products. So I want to start off by saying a huge thank you uh, to all of you subscribers um, that continue to watch the uh, videos, that like the videos, that comment on them. I really enjoy um, seeing the comments come up and I read every single one of them and try and reply if you ask me a question. Um, I've started uh, the new Warhammer 40,000 Conquest um, subscription where you get a magazine a week or, or four every four weeks or something like that. Um, and I'll be going through that as if I was new to the hobby. So if you are new to the hobby and you are new to the channel, I hope you take um, some uh, positives uh, away from that. I've been in the hobby well over 20 years and there's over a thousand videos on my channel now and I want to just help you guys because when I was a wee Saiyan, not, a, not yet a super Saiyan, I would have loved something like that. Um, when I was doing the hobby, even if it's just something in the background for you to listen to uh, and to take some hobby tips and advice from. So I hope you enjoy that content. A second big uh, thank you, huge thank you to all the Patreons that um, donate something to the channel, even if it's like a dollar a month or, you know, less than a, well, less than half a cup of coffee or, um, you know, one sixth of a, of a White Dwarf magazine, which I do cover every uh, month then that really helps the channel out. It means that I can continue to cover all the brand new releases because you see, I do this purely on the support of you viewers and subscribers. Uh, Games Workshop and Forge World don't give me anything. Um, it may seem that way from all the videos and content that I put up. If truth be told, some of the things I don't buy because I've got a current army, I buy for the channel. So any kind of support like that really helps the channel out and helps me to continue creating content for the channel. Anyway, that being said, let's go over to the news straight away. So 500 stores today, Saturday the 20th of October. As I said in one of my videos today, they have 500 stores open at the moment. They do actually have over 500 stores, um, but there are just 500 open. I think the 500th one being opened was in Hong Kong today, so celebrate. Uh, that Games Workshop have released these two miniatures which I've already done unboxings for and I'll get the reviews out guess what tomorrow on a day that I normally don't provide any Warhammer related content both of the reviews will be up first thing tomorrow as you're having your Sunday uh, cup of tea or coffee or whatever you like to to have on a Sunday so those videos are coming tomorrow I hope you enjoy them uh, let's have a look at all of the other news uh, on the website so towards the end of Saturday, uh, moving into Sunday last week, um, there was a bit of a preview of uh, Speed Freaks, which is the next new box game from Games Workshop. Here it is. Um, it has two New York buggies in there, but it has six old war bikes. Um, the war bikes themselves, I think, are £27 for three of them. So already that's £54, and this set is 90 so you're paying about £36 or so for the new buggies. Whether you think they're worth £18 each it is up to you. It does have a lot of scenery in. It looks like quite a thick set, um, judging by the, the look on that box. It's quite thick. It's going to be heavy. Um, it's got a lot of dice in it, measurements and things like that. Personally, I would have rather had some kind of Gorka Morka type of uh, game. I really do hope that Games Workshop haven't just put these buggies in here as kind of like a limited timed exclusive and that they don't hold back from releasing them as separate miniatures um, when the rest of the orcs get released. And to be fair, we've got less than two weeks of that. And this is the first orc release coming to us on the 27th of October. So much for October, right? One orc release. Anyway, I guess October's been delayed until November. <laughs> anyway, that's the Speed Freaks. Um, box set that's coming to you, £90 next week. It's up for pre-order now. We'll we'll have a look at that in more detail later on in this video. But let's go back onto the news. And then on the Monday, Games Workshop and Forge World kicked off the week with a crocodile. This amazing looking sump croc um, available for your Gang Warfare 3 for Necromunda. Obviously he's in resin. I'm guessing he's going to be a similar price to the others, which is about £18 or, or, or so. Looks really, really cool and um, very similar to the artwork. Uh, 
like a big crocodile, but with many more eyes and a couple more kind of fangs on his um, jaw. Quite a stocky, thick crocodile, if you know what I mean. There's the rules uh, for Speed Freaks, uh, an article going about them, um, some more articles about Speed Freaks with the custom boom booster blaster, um, guidebook for Necromunda, uh, a little focus on the Black Library Weekender. Here we go, this is what you can get. You get your uh, swag um, bag, which has a Crusade, which is an anthology. You get all the um, postcards, which I yeah did buy before. Um, looks like you get a poster, signing poster, art prints, badges, key rings, stickers, um, and yeah, the postcards. So you just have to go to the Weekender, which is um, only in two more weeks, actually. If you click that, it takes you directly to Black Library, and the ticket is £75. It's a fair amount of money, but you do get your swag bag, and you get to meet um, all the creative teams behind the favourite books and things. I really, really love um, the Warhammer 40,000 universe. I think there are obviously people that um, love the Star Wars universe and the Star Trek universes, but I think the Warhammer 40,000 universe, in my opinion, is definitely the most richest and has a huge backing of novels and stories surrounding it. Anyway, enough about my gushing of um, Warhammer 40,000. Let's move back onto the news. There's another article about Orc vehicles where they look at all of the vehicles coming out, pretty much, uh, and their rules, um, such as the Megatrack Scrapjet with its rocket cannon, um, a bit of a look at the Boom Dacker Snazwagon. Um, specifically, I like the look of the Burner Bot Bottles, where units don't receive the benefit of cover to their saving throws. That could be quite nasty. Um, and the Squig Buggy. Lots of lots of weapon profiles here for the Squig Launcher and the Heavy Squig Launcher. Maybe they're slightly bigger squigs. Um, the Custom Boomer, Booster Blaster, the Shotgun Dragster, as I kind of thought, is kind of anti-tank, two-shot, strength eight weapon, and they, the bearer suffers one mortal wound after all the attacks have been resolved. Um, so a good focus on all of the rules there for the Orc vehicles. The Regimental Boss Pole uh, this week was kind of hijinked by um, the Orcs uh, in an Orc kind of fashion. That was, that's pretty fun to read. Um, upcoming event news. There's Blood and Glory 2018, Warhammer Age of Sigma Champions, Black Library Weekender. Brian Blessed uh, will be making an appearance. I think he's one of these chaps that you'll hear him before you see him. I don't think he'd be best suited as a Vindica assassin, put it that way. And there's a, a more look at the, the events that are taking place. That's pretty much Warhammer World um, right there. You uh, you enter here, if you can if you can see that where the Space Marine is, just there. So you enter there, there's a little, there's kind of like a shop and it goes back that way. Um, and there's more of the shop. Basically they sell pretty much all of Games Workshop products you can think of. This is the huge, huge gaming uh, hall. Um, to the left there, there's a Forge World um, shop. And next to the Forge World shop, there was a Black Library um, shop. They were, they were like separate, but now the Black Library has dissolved into the um, Games Workshop area so there's the forge world and the games workshop area and then there's this uh, big hall of, of gaming tables it looks absolutely stunning anyway so that was a look at the events building the speed freaks army this only came up a couple of days ago um but it's great that they give you a list um i'm sure that the new models will just be the um the new vehicles and the uh, war boss on his his trike his tricycle i'm not sure whether i'm going to put the boogies on the bases if and when i get them i think the trike works well on it and the bikes do but maybe not the the boogies i might i might leave off we'll see um but i think that's pretty much all the new models i mean look how big that um that vehicle is again i'm not sure whether it works well on a base um such a, a long uh, large vehicle anyway that was the list looking at them there was an Armies on Parade 2018 roundup. Some absolutely stunning entries. And then a Hero of Blood God Rises. This only came up uh, on the Forge World website yesterday. This dragon. The dragon is finally finished. This Chaos Dragon. It's been taking Forge World team uh, a good two or three years or so. Probably even longer. Um, but it's £375, which may seem like a lot of money. It is a lot of money. 
but it's a huge resin kit and I think it's the largest dragon they've ever done. Um, definitely the most detailed and if I was a Chaos player, an Age of Sigmar player, I'd be jumping to try and get this model, I really would. Um, for me, as a Warhammer 40,000 um, player, it's the equivalent of a, a Warhound Titan or a Thunderhawk. Um, it really is. Fantastic model, lovely kit and a, you can just tell that a lot of time and effort has been spent sculpting and, and modelling this and the, the result is absolutely incredible. And then yesterday they had a look at Orc vehicles through the ages, all the way back um, a long, long time ago where you've got the little um, Space Orc Dreadnoughts with the Gretchen in, then you've got some war tracks um, with the kind of German helmets uh, on the Orcs, very, very funny. Then second edition, uh, you get these metal uh, Orc Dreadnoughts and then these war tracks of which I've still got one then you get some battle wagons and war bikes and then the orc stomper came out actually in 2007 so it's 11 years old can you believe it and it's only five pounds more than the gorkonaut or morkonaut which I definitely want to get for this release and um, then you've got the killer cans and the dreadnoughts and then of course the blaster jets um, and then that obviously brings us on to all of these new buggies and uh, vehicles that they're bringing out also they posted this out yesterday 500 facts for 500 stores 500 of them I only can imagine who sat there and wrote 500 facts that's mind-blowing just to see 500 art um, pieces so if you don't know what to do today and you want to procrastinate from your work then there you go you can go ahead and read the 500 facts that's enough about the news there's a lot of news and um, this week games watch were really ramping it up ready for orcs even though it's almost the end of october and um, let's go and look at forge world let's go look at that dragon shall we okay so we go to forge world we go on to new um, you still got your extended shipping 75 pound or more until the end of october or october and um, so hopefully they're going to release something good to pre-order next weekend and it's not going to be um, something small. Uh, it might be that little crocodile and then Forge World might just troll us completely and have the next two weeks as the Necron Construct or whatever. Um, but I really hope the Necron Construct comes out next weekend. But who knows anyway let's have a look at this uh, big dragon so pre-orders they've just brought out the two primarchs uh their um novels i think korax's uh, novel has just come up for pre-order and vulcan's been out for a little while but they've just bundled them together so you can get the primark and the novel which is quite a novel idea um but if you haven't got those models and uh you're looking to get the novel uh, to go with them then there you go, that Forge World have bundled them in quite conveniently. This is the dragon. So Vorgoroth the Scarred and Skalok the Skull Host of Corn. So this is the Chaos Corn Dragon, absolutely stunning model. Um, I've been gushing, uh, gushing over it already. Uh, there we go, look at that. Incredible. I like how there's skulls in its tail and then it's chained as well with, with some kind of armour and then it's got this uh, this armour on the back of its tail too on the tip and then its wings have got some scratches on them um, and then this little dude himself uh, Scalloc I think and then the chaos and then the dragon's eyes and the tongue that's got a fork in it um, yeah there its eyes look and I like how it's posed too um, I'm not sure about this armour here, um, it does look a bit interesting, um, it's kind of like mutated a bit, um, maybe I'm a purist and I would have wanted the same claw, but hey, you know, I like the fact that it's uh, on this crumbling bit of mound with some skulls on um, too, so lots of detail, things burning through the, the dragon, I like how the throne of skulls um, is uh, is kind of built up from the dragon and not just kind of attached it's grow, grown out of it uh, and then obviously this dude's got his axe kind of you know fly me closer um, I want to hit them with my axe not not burn them with my my dragon's uh, bale fire so this is the chaos uh, how to train your dragon there it is look at that absolutely incredible
Anyway, yours for £375, an enormous visual striking resin kit, and I believe it would be. Um, I would love to get my hands on that, if only I could, just to unbox it and uh, show you guys all of the detail. It looks fantastic. Okay, that's everything for Fortwall, just the dragon up for pre-order. Let's turbo boost over to uh, the Games Workshop website, oh, where there are, get your speed wire on, where there is a big, big um, push for two new miniatures, <laughs> both of the war buggies uh, involved into uh, in speed freaks. Let's hit the new and exclusive button, hold on to your butts, pre-orders, we'll view all, and we'll smash that high to low button and we'll get get to it. So you've got the collection here, which has, I think, an audio drama, Prophets of War by Guy Haley, um, Speed Freaks itself, let's have a look at that. So let's dive into this and look at all of these models individually. So what do you get? You get a tw mm, tw only 24 page cool rule book, okay. Um, you get uh, eight multi-part plastic miniatures along with a load of barricades. So you get a custom booster blaster and then the shock jump dragster. Um, and you also get six war bikers, which we've had before. A set of barricades which comprises of three barriers and three piles of detritus um, on there. So let's have a look. So this is the custom booster blaster, this one. So this is the new, one of the new buggies with a little Gretchen hanging off the the rear it's a booster blaster with that cannon on the back um, I do like the spikes on the wheels and the tusks very very Mad Max I can see a lot of people um, customizing their war boys white and all, all kinds of things um, and this is the other vehicle oh there's the booster blaster this is the shock drum um, dragster with this amazing uh, shock cannon with a guy that's just hanging up, hanging off the side, very tooled tooled up kit Gretchen there, with a little squig, a very mean squig, with some rockets, uh, and there's this teleporter kind of uh, contraption on the engine here. Big big spoiler at the back, obviously to help with uh, the downforce, and a big wedge here to scoop up any grunts and uh, turn them into into meat, mince meat. So lovely looking models, £90 though for this kit and you are getting six bikers which are, are they old models? Definitely over four years old, five, six years old. Here's all the, the ruins. Um, again, a lot going on with these ruins. I'm not sure, I mean, I do like the fact that we're getting some orc buildings and orc scenery and things and yes, I think that they would look pretty cool on a, uh, even on an imperial, um, Realm of Battle board, you could still use these and have it as like an orc fort or an orc stronghold. Definitely um, having these littered about an orc deployment zone would be pretty cool. Um, I'm just overjoyed that there are some kind of orc um, scrap and orc uh, scenery going on now because I don't know whether we ever have had any, to be honest. But £90, I think it's a lot of money for what you get. You get the, the six bikers, which obviously Games Workshop are really just pushing out because probably they've got a lot of stock and you're getting the two um, buggies. This is the thing, I only hope that they release both of these type of buggies within the next two weeks. Um, otherwise, that's quite a poor show in my opinion. I think um, to have these in here as an exclusive thing, which they've done on many other sets before, uh, wouldn't be a, a good step. This should be a standalone game, but these two models should be separate from the get-go, from the start, um, from as soon as that green light goes um, for these New York releases. Anyway, that is Speed Freaks, and that's my kind of initial reaction, initial op opinion on it. Um, two new models and the six bikers. Let's go back to new and exclusive for Games Workshop. This is the Corax, um, who is a Primarch of Ravenguard, um, Lord of Shadows book. Um, 40 pounds like all of the the Primark uh, limited edition books um, so you can pre-order that today um, the Heralds of the Siege uh, 20 pound hardback book again you can pre-order that today and moving down you've actually got Vulcan Lord of Drakes not in its limited edition form now it's in like a collector's edition 13 pound is pretty good for this hardback book 
um, because actually I was holding um, the new Guy Haley uh, book, um, Plague War, and that's £18. For, so for this to be £5 cheaper, um, this is a thing, I'd happily pay £13 for a hardback book like this one or Plague War, but I think £18 is, you're almost £20 for a, a, a novel um, there, and that that's a story and you're almost borderline going into the realms of where you can buy a, a Blu-ray or, or even a 4K Blu-ray or or a box of miniatures for that kind of price point. But I think £13 is, is, the, is, a, is a happy medium. Kind of £8 or £7 for a paperback, but £13, please, just, just for a hardback. This is The Prophets of War audio CD by Guy Haley, £12 for that. And then the final thing you can pre-order is this novel here, Sacrosanct and Other Stories in Paperback. Look, £4.99. So they're all the pre-orders for this weekend. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a few more pre-orders for Orcs um, that won't actually be released within October, which is a bit of a shame. We won't, we're not, we're not going to get the, uh, the brand new Orc Codex within October which kind of sucks, but hopefully there'll be the Orc Codex, they'll have all of the, the buggies and the uh, war boss um, to pre-order, and maybe a couple of other things, who knows. Anyway, that's it for my really, really long video today. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.